After almost two months of a lockdown, the government has decided to reopen the economy but in a phased manner. The first phase, which proposes to reopen malls, restaurants, hotels and religious places, has given rise to fears about catching the coronavirus from contaminated surfaces and objects. For long, it has been argued that the surface transmission is a potential risk and that the virus can stay on certain surfaces for as long as 3 to 7 days. Whereas studies have shown that the life of the virus is as much as 3 days on plastic and steel. On the other hand, on surfaces like cardboard and copper, it can survive for a good 24 hours and 4 hours respectively. Research has also shown that the virus can remain suspended in air for nearly 30 minutes. But a regular edit made by the US Center for Disease Control and Prevention on its website was perceived as CDC downgrading its view on surface transmission and that caused a bit of a social media sensation. The center eventually said that the initial edit was confusing and clarified that indirect contact through contaminated surface remains a potential risk. But it added that this isn't thought to be the main way the virus spreads. We spoke to Shubhajit Sen, who is a scientist at Center for Excellence in Basic Sciences in Mumbai and also a member of a voluntary group called Indian Scientists Response to COVID-19 to understand how the chain of surface transmission works. There is direct contact by hugging, touching, shaking hands. And then when a positive sp person speaks or say even spits or coughs or sneezes or simply exhales as I am doing, droplets are continuously being released. These are the primary sources of transmission and they carry a high load of infectious viral particles. Then within the next few minutes, these droplets settle down eventually on various surfaces within about one to two meters. This is the second source of infection. The good news, however, is that the virus does not enter through the skin. So we are safe that way. But the moment we touch these contaminated hands to our face, the virus can enter through our eyes, nose or even mouth. The third mode is what we call as fomites. Now, fomites are essentially anything that a positive person uses or just uses and walks away. Things like towels, pillows, handkerchiefs, utensils and so on. The main problem with containing COVID-19 infections is that we can't tell who is infected. As Dr. Sen pointed out, the virus can knowingly or unknowingly infect a healthy person. And as per the Union Health Ministry, nearly 80% of India's patients are asymptomatic, which makes it difficult to identify. So is there risk associated with stepping out of our homes? Yes, there is a risk. Of course, a lot depends on how many viral particles were shed by a particular infected person while sneezing or coughing or speaking on a particular surface. And how many of those viral particles were viable or capable of infecting another person who accidentally happened to touch and entered the person through the respiratory route. Now, a social media experiment done by a Japanese broadcaster showed how quickly the virus spreads from one person to another at a dinner table. To demonstrate the transmission, they applied fluorescent paint on the hands of a participant at the beginning of dinner and showed how by the end of it, the paint was found on almost every person in the room. Owing to this, concerns are being raised about the relaxations and questions are being put forth about what should one do to keep themselves safe. As the lockdown is lifted, the only way for us to be careful is to be self-vigilant and self-aware of everything we really touch and maintain very, very high levels of personal hygiene. Currently, the case doubling times are slightly less than about two weeks. But once the lockdown lifts, if people continue to maintain physical distancing and sanitary caution, with proper care, we can ensure that the doubling time does not become any shorter. If it does, however, we might see a second wave of this pandemic. India added more than 9,000 cases on Thursday, taking the total number of coronavirus patients in the country to over 2 lakh. With the reopening of all activities except for that in containment zones, it is important for each one of us to exercise caution and be wary. Wash your hands, wear a mask while going out, avoid touching common surfaces 
and then your face. And if you come across any unverified information, post, report, then just send it to us at webcoof@thequin.com and we'll verify it for you.